Let's face it, whatever plans we might have had for summer 2020 have long since disappeared. We're trying to get used to living in a new kind of normal, in a world that is still gripped by a viral pandemic. And that means change. But that doesn't mean we should give up on hopes and dreams and plans. We just have to reassess what they're going to look like. Hello everyone, it's Ethan here and welcome back to Scott Trans. If you're new, hi, welcome. Scott Trans is a collaborative YouTube channel bringing together voices and experiences from trans people across Scotland. Each week we upload individual videos to a joint theme and this week we're talking about five things we're looking forward to. It would be all too easy for me just to list off five things that right now I'm really looking forward to because we're gripped in this lockdown pandemic state of living where things aren't quite normal and there's a lot we can't do and that would be a boring cop out of a video if I just tell you five things that right now I'm looking forward to because you probably are as well. Instead, I'm going to talk about five bigger picture things that I'm looking forward to in the future. First up, I start medical school in a month and a bit. I'm looking forward to starting medical school. I'm looking forward to being back in that academic environment. I thrive in an academic environment. I like learning. I'm looking forward to, in five years time, graduating, having my qualification, starting my junior doctor training, building a career in medicine, helping people, making a difference. I'm looking forward to becoming a doctor. On a personal front, I'm looking forward to getting back into creating content. This relaunch last week of the Scott Trans channel, the fact that very soon I'm launching a new main channel and I am working on bringing back some content to my personal channel that was more transition focused. It's got me fired up again. I have missed being creative, whether it's making videos, writing blog posts, scribbling sketches, creative writing. I've been trying to write a book for a while and I've always become distracted or drawn a blank, lost my drive, lost that, that kick, that oomph. Thirdly, on a personal and health front, I'm, just, I'm looking forward to becoming the me I want to be. I've come, I've come a long way in that from my medical transition so far, hormones, and chest surgery last summer, September, not really summer, whatever, meh. It's given me this, this freedom to really become outwardly the person I feel inwardly. On a transition point of view, there's still things I'm waiting for. The paperwork things like a gender recognition certificate, updating my birth certificate, fertility preservation, because I do want to be a dad. Then the follow on from that's going to be the more complicated and time consuming issue of addressing lower surgery, which for me is something I want and need. But not everything about building my best me is transition focused by any means. I still have a bit of weight to lose. I've, st I've still got podgy curvy bits that I would like to see straightened out. And I need to get back into the gym. I want to put on muscle. I want to bulk up, particularly my upper body. I want to see my chest develop. I want to see my shoulders develop. I want to see my back develop, my arms, my legs, because I will not skip leg day. So proportionally, but mainly I want to see my upper body just have the definitive structure that I long for it to have, the physique that I want to have. Fourthly, I'm looking forward to the future and what that might bring. Eventually I will graduate from medical school. Five years feels like a lifetime away right now, but I know it's going to pass in the blink of an eye and then I'm going to be into junior doctor training. That will be my career sorted, but there's still more I want for my future. I want a family. So I'm looking forward to the time that I find the right person to let my guard down for, to let them into my life. I would like to be able to marry and have children or at least one child and two dogs. And I, I suppose it's, it's cheesy, but in my head, I've always wanted that picture perfect thing with you know, the white picket fence and the green, you know, it's, it's cheesy and it's, it's not how real life works, but it's the ambition. It does mean I'm going to have to learn to be a bit more confident. There's, there's someone I would like to ask out, but she's way out of my league and I'm a wimp. So there's that, but it's a hope I have for my future. Finally, I'm looking forward to pushing myself outside my comfort zone. I am not a confident person. I'm I'm shy and insecure and I'm happier just sitting on the sidelines, not being noticed, quietly getting on with things. Yay! I want to push myself. One thing I'm really going to push myself to do, and it absolutely terrifies me, is to take up a team sport. Hmm. I'm not the fittest of person, but we're working on the overall fitness, but team sports have always terrified me. 
I've not been brought up surrounded by sport. I wasn't into all the sports when I was a kid. I hated physical activity. I still despise cardio, so preferably. Is there a sport where you don't have to run or move or do it? No. Esports. Joking aside, I want to push myself to join a team sport. I don't know what that sport's going to be. I'd love it to be rugby. Rugby really appeals. I'd love it to be swimming. It's not really a team sport. Maybe water polo, but I'm still very self-conscious about getting back in the pool because I haven't been swimming since I came out and I think since coming out that's been my biggest barrier. Dysphoria particularly genital related in a locker room environment it's just it's a lot but things like that I just I want to push myself bit by bit beyond my comfort zone challenge myself. If you can think of anything you think I should challenge myself to do and you want me to make a video about it like Drop me a comment and let me know. I will consider it and if it doesn't completely terrify me, I'll do it. If it does completely terrify me, I'll delete your comment and plead that it was never there in the first place. Um, yes. Okay, what about you? What are you looking forward to? Is it something short term, immediate, now? Like the barbers cutting my hair? Or is it some longer term goal you have? Like a life aspiration, a vision for your future? Big or small? Let me know, drop me a comment. Tell me what you are looking forward to. And then I can get all excited with you. And I'm team you. I'm going to wave the banners and the flags and support you. You got this. This is the point where you tell me I got this because I have no confidence in myself. We got this. I'll support you if you support me. Let's, let's do this. Keep shining. Keep smiling. Have a great week. And I'll see you soon. <laughs> Bye.